So I was attracted to York um, for postgraduate degree. I did my undergraduate degree here as well, and I took just a module which I took on a whim because I thought it looked interesting, um, and that was great. I loved it, and then I thought, hey, they do a master's in this, I'll do that. Um, I thought it was a great idea, and I think it was a great idea. You know, now I still do. It wasn't, you know, a bad decision. Best thing about my time here, the people. Um, I was on quite a smallish course, there were nine of us, and you see them every single day, you're working with them every day. So you just build such bonds with everyone else on the course. And also with the lecturers and the other the staff in the department, they're all very friendly, very willing to help. They might go down the pub with you, which is obviously a plus. Um, and it's just a great bond that you build with everybody else in the department, whether it be lecturers or students. I don't know what I'm doing next. I'm exploring my options at the moment, um, applying for some various different things, seeing what takes my fancy and hopefully something will come along soon that I'm into. If anyone's thinking of doing a master's or a PhD in New York, I would say yes, do it. It's a great place, it's a great city. I've obviously stayed, I did my undergrad and my master's degree here, so I obviously like it, and hopefully other people will too. And I would also say if you're doing a master's, I'm not sure about other courses, but for mine, first term was bad. Second term got a lot better. First term was lots of work. You thought, I can't possibly keep this up for three terms. But then it eases off in second and you can relax a little bit before getting down to the nitty gritty.